Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to uh, Problem Solving Techniques videos. In this short video, number four, we're going to look at check sheets. First of all, let's answer the question, what is a check sheet? Well, a check sheet is a simple form designed to record and quantify facts and data over a period of time. The construction of the check sheet should be tailored to collect data on specific categories and location of things like defects, the frequency of those defects, and the possible causes of those defects. A check sheet allows us to collect data with minimal effort. Just simply use your favourite pencil and some paper and you can record data using a check sheet. You can use these raw data and convert it into useful information and essentially what it does is it can translate opinions of what is happening into what is actually happening. So in other words, instead of asking, I think the problem is, uh, ask our state, the data says that the problem is. So check sheet's going to give you some evidence for this. So when should you use a check sheet? Well, first of all, to observe an operation and record specific data over time, a check sheet could be the thing, simple tool that you could use. Secondly, we could use a check sheet to acquire a short-term observation of process variability on the current situation. Thirdly, we could use check sheets to identify what potential problems should be addressed first. And finally, we could use a check sheet to confirm the effects of a problem. So quite simply, a check sheet is a simple tool for measuring quality. To create a clearer picture of factual problems, not just the obvious or the most common ones, you should ask yourself the following questions. What event is conferring, occurring? Who is responsible for the event? When and where does the event occur? And how often does it occur? And finally, how long does the event take? There are two types of check sheets. The first one we see here is a simple tally check sheet, which we use to count occurrences of an event or an activity. And in this one here we can see we have three events and in the center I have uh, counts and every time each event occurs I make a mark in the count section. And over on the right hand side I total up the counts. So event A has 17 occurrences for a score of 17, B has a score of 23 and C has a score of 8. My total number of events is 48 but we can see the breakdown between events A, B and C uh, which ones are the highest and medium and the lowest. And the idea with check sheets, like this tally check sheet here, is that you, you look out for high totals. The second type of check sheet is a defect map. And this is quite simply where you would use a diagram. In this case here, we have a diagram of a simple diagram of a photocopy machine. And on the diagram, we would mark the location of when defects occur. So for example, here I have defects X, Y, and Z occurring in different places on the photocopy machine. And I can use this diagram to record defects, not just how many there are occurring, but their location on the chart. Defect map is most effective when used with a tally check sheet that we saw earlier. Let's take a, now, take a look now at a simple example of recording keyboard errors in weekly assignments during a semester in a college. And down along the left hand side here we note six simple different types of errors. Centering of text, uh, typos, grammar, paragraphs, uh, pages and tables. And we have data gathered here for three weeks, so we can see in week one the total occurrence of each in each of assignments that are handed up. In week two we've got similar, and in week three we've got uh, lots of uh, events of each type of error occurring. So we total up across the rows and in the columns, and in total we have 110 errors occurring over the three-week period in semester one. But we can look both at the graphic itself and we can see that typos and grammar and pagination account for quite a high amount of the errors. And when we look at the totals, we can see that grammars and typo account for most errors, uh, over half the errors in the overall total coming in at uh, 64 errors out of 110. And this gives us a clearer picture and some hard evidence that a, typical ty a particular type of error is occurring over this period. And this allows us to uh, address these issues here and target them for improvement. So now that you have more data and more information, it's possible to go ahead and try and resolve the problem based on these simple data that you have gathered using a check sheet. 
should keep check sheets for reference to record data over a period of time, and in many cases it might be worthwhile scanning the check sheets so that they can be stored in a knowledge management system online. If you found this problem solving technique useful, uh, you can read about a little bit more about it and some other problem solving techniques in my new book, An Introduction to Business Systems Analysis, Problem Solving Techniques and Strategies, published by the Liffey Press and available at Amazon. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoy the video.